Hello again, Craig here with another way to destroy a Fukushima fear monger. With a gotcha question, what I call gotcha question. Uh, basically what that means is you pose a question to these people who are trying to convince you that you're going to die from Fukushima radiation and it's all wor much worse than it really is. They're going to try to convince you of this. This is a good way to shut them up. And it's a good way to neutralize years worth of work for certain people on YouTube University that are producing fear porn for profit uh, to try to convince you you're going to die of Fukushima radiation. Neutralizes them instantly. So what am I talking about here? Well, since there's no radiation in the air to be measured, and hasn't been in years from Fukushima, unless you're right there at the plant, then, they, well, it's in the water because it's leaking. Everything's going to die in the ocean. We're going to have mass die-offs. We're going to have tide pools that are going to die. And we're going to have beachings. And we're all screwed because the Pacific Ocean is going to die. That's the meme, which doesn't mean what you think it memes. Because the easy way to counter this, pose this question to them, or this statement on their, on their comment, on their channel, or wherever. Show me a peer-reviewed scientific paper showing radiation as being a causational factor of any kind of beaching, tide pool die-off, or marine mammal die-offs in, in any of the oceans. They're done. Dead in the water, so to speak. they got nowhere to go with that because all the papers, I'm going to link some of them below, all the papers have a lot of reasons that these things can happen, but the word Fukushima or radiation never appear in these papers. No legitimate scientist or marine biologist is screaming, we're all going to die from Fukushima or the oceans are going to die from Fukushima radiation. Besides the fact there was all kinds of nuclear dumping for decades by 14 different countries. We'll cover that in another gotcha question later. Uh, that is, that Fukushima is just a drop in the bucket compared to what's been done. But anyway, just sticking with that. Show a peer-reviewed scientific paper showing radiation as being a causational factor for any kind of die-off, dead tide pools, or beachings. It's not there. So, what you will find in the literature, you'll find a lot of potential reasons. Uh, one of them, well, think about it, folks. Uh, things die, and things have died since the beginning of time, long before anybody knew what a Fukushima was. Aging, you know, old age, uh, injury, disease, illness. You float, and you might float to shore before you sink or before something eats you, and then, okay, you got a so-called beaching for some mysterious reason. They can usually always find out what those reasons are. But you might also have, um, one of the things that is, is, comes up a lot is military sonar. Basically, about 250 decibels of, of sound under the water, totally destroying their, their senses and, their, and their, their brain. Uh, you might have uh, ones giving difficulty giving birth, temperature changes... Uh, panic predator evasion, where they're trying to get away from a predator, or conversely, where you're, they're hunting too close to shore. Um, ship strikes, trauma from propellers. Happens a lot. You might have, uh, due, due to starvation, algal blooms, social cohesion, which is basically where a cry for help is made and others try to come to your rescue. That's social cohesion. Uh, changes in the tide, uh, geomagnetic disruptions such as solar storms. You might have uh, fishing net entanglements. That happens quite often. You might have navigational errors, maybe due to those solar storms. You could even have an ingestion of debris. We've had a famous case here just recently on that. But with all these potential reasons, you won't find the word radiation. You made that up. And now you're stuck with it because you can't counter this. Give it a try. You see, that's an easy way to shut them down quickly. They'll move on to another topic. And we're going to be doing more in this series of the gotcha questions. And, um, and if you also don't know about the other channel, check out the other channel. I'm going to link it here at the end. Uh, where I have, at this point in time, about 20 very much alive tide pool videos right off the shore of Vancouver Island where somebody is in a boat right now trying to find dead tide pools to, to make you think that uh, 
you know, it, it's better money if we show a lot of dead things and maybe film places that have been dredged so you can see that, yeah, everything's dead. Because it makes more money, you see. Or we might film rocks in January at high tide to show everything's dead in California. Well, I've got a good 20 or so videos at this point in time, and that's growing daily, showing very much alive tide pools. So the other channel is right here. Please check it out if you want to. We specialize on that channel strictly to destroy the Fukushima fear mongers and their, their false memes and lies. Thanks everybody for watching.